Hello, Hazard from Hazard Reviews here, ready to do a little video on multiverses. Warner Brothers attempt to copy into Smash Brothers, now the Ultimate's finished, you know, it's, you know, development time with DLC and only to knock Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl off, and, well, pretty much has. But the thing is, I can't really consider this a review yet, because in my view, not enough has been released to justify this as a full game. Well, it's only in its first season. I mean, it's still a season approach, like say Street Fighter Five or you know Killer Instinct. So because of that, I can't really say this is a full-on review like I did with Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl, which okay did miss a few features too, like obviously voice acting, but felt more like a complete game. It had more characters and more stages. You know, it's more of enough to qualify for it. But I, you know, I'm willing to give us a little bit of a look at just because you know. It's popular enough to qualify for in. You know what? I'm having a fun time now with this game that I want to talk about. It. So, why don't we get started and just, you know, talk about a bit about multiverses. A lot of characters owned by Warner, by Warner Brothers Media and they're all playing on a platform-based fighting game. You've got your, and you've got your a various amount of characters from different sort of properties owned by Warner, Warner Brothers. Anna Barbera, Looney Tunes, DC, Cartoon Network, HBO, uh, even their, their movie division, you know, he, he even getting some future characters, obviously DC Comics, and again, even some live act, even getting real life people like LeBron. Even an original character known as Rain Dog, who, let's be fair, I don't think that many people are playing that much of online. The most important thing about this game in terms of everything with you know fighting is the is the fact that this is mostly a team based copy of Smash Brothers. And you know, I mean, in terms of team interactions, I mean it's probably the one area of online that you're gonna expect a lot of it to come up. I wouldn't say it's um uh, but you will get a few single battles here and there. And you know, once you I mean, and the interactions between all these characters are, you know, Fit their, fit their style, you know, you get, you hear the right people voice, you know, just the lines that they say, especially if, in particular Bugs' lines with his teammates, just feel, and the opponents just feel so, uh, so funny and all that. I think, but of course, once you get to the plane, it is what you expect. It's Smash Brothers, you know, but with Warner Brothers characters. As I said, you, you've got your regular t base attacks, special attacks, you know, all your, all your, yeah, you've got jumping, you know, jumping on platforms, jumping to save yourself, you know. The only thing that's missing is fast smashes, but, you know, probably, who knows, maybe that might show up eventually. It's what you expect from, from Smash Brothers. You know, just what the compared to Smash Brothers is more so... Okay, there's two different things I can say. First off is more so with actually, well, jumping. And you know the how much air you get when getting hit. I mean, first off, just is it me or just it feels like you know the gravity in this is you know you know different. I mean, just I mean the amount of you know distance you get from getting hit is just you know surprising. I mean, yeah, with Smash Bros. it's the same thing, but just I'm just impressed with how much you know air, you know, how much distance you fly away from when you get hit. But the biggest thing difference for me is more so jumping. I mean, jumping is right, you get your double jumps and all that, but how important it is for recovery in this? I mean, yes, it's the same Smash Brothers, but what I, forgot, what I should mention is that when it comes to ledges, you don't actually grab onto them. You have, you have to, you wall jump, which, you know, while is unique in its own right, I, it does seem strange, especially for certain characters. I mean, Okay, with some like Superman and the Iron Giant, I can sort of see happening. 
Characters like LeBron James, who, yes, jumps, obviously, being a basketballer, just does not to, as high as that. Shaggy, Vilma, and in particular, I, Arya, uh, you know, I don't expect them to get in the, to jump like that. Even characters like Harley Quinn, who, yeah, are comic book characters, you know, that's Harley isn't really a a full on, you know, has a, is a super villain, with, you know, super powers and all that. Just just doesn't seem quite right. The most important difference, on the other hand, when it comes to this in Smash Bros, is the RPG elements. Not to say, not to say a game, and it's just when it comes to equipping perks and that. I mean, yes, in Smash Bros, in Smash Ultimate, you can equip spirits, you know, for certain attacks, like in certain stuff with adventure mode. But in this game, you actually have to equip certain perks, you know, to you know stand a better chance. The more you play, the more you, you know, the more abilities you unlock, and you know, and the more powerful you will be against your opponents online. In certain circumstances, I can see what this is a great you know, addition, but you know, I mean, it, but it can seem complicated to some. However, I will admit it is pretty simple. I mean, as I said, if you've played RPGs, you sort of get the gist of it, and you know, it's fun unlocking new quips or certain characters for your mains that you do. But that's the thing; you're really gonna once you figure out a main, your mains, you you know, you're gonna yeah. Go from there and just you know beat beat these and just keep on leveling them up and get what you want. And while you know online you're going to encounter those who unlock more perks for for the characters they use. And you know, I mean, it's annoying, but it gives you an incentive to keep using your characters. You know, just to get just to get better better stuff for them. Well, I mean, I really enjoy enjoy the graphics of this. I mean, yes, certain characters do feel odd being cartoony style, but you know, and with more characters like a grim, like a gremlin coming up, just seems so totally strange. And but I know Black Adam's Black Adam's a character is from DC, DC Comics. I don't really see him that much in TV, so it's going to seem weird, you know, in him to style. But this style works, and I can understand it. it. Looks it looks pretty good. I'm all fine with that. Anything, my biggest problems with this are very minor at the moment. First off, loading screens. I mean, okay, loading into online is fine, I'm fine with that, that's okay. But when you're loading into the game, like coming in from the menu, I don't know, that just takes too long for me. Tell me if you're getting the same issues, I, I really like no. But above all, the most thing, worst thing about this is, this is this tutorial right here, knockback influence. I mean, with all the other advanced tutorials in this, I can manage, and I think a lot of people can. But this one, oh my gosh, is it so stinkingly annoying. You could rage it out on this so much. I mean, I haven't, I haven't even completed it yet. It's just, you know, so stupid. Like, no matter what I try, no matter what I do, it just takes the freaking... It just doesn't even get... I can't even do this one. And you know, I mean, yes, you can sort of skip one part, but then you have to wait for the other part to come through, and you know, it just. And well, yes, as I said, you can skip the first part, then you have to try and complete the second part, which just takes, which is still stupid, you know. Because and the AI is just, you know, won't even give you a, a second date. I mean, look, it just stands still, and you takes frick. Sometimes it won't, it won't even do things, which means you just, you know, doing nothing. It, it's insane. I mean, come on. There is a paywall in this when it comes to unlocking stuff. I mean, okay, not really. I mean, okay, with certain characters, obviously you, can, you have to pay for, pay coins, you know, to, un, to unlock them. Or you can use character tickets, depending on which version you play. But I'd say only use the character tickets for the characters that you want. Save the other ones for later if you just feel like you have enough spare coins, you know, after winning, playing a few matches just to unlock everyone else. And as you can see, I haven't, I haven't really unlocked everyone yet. But with that said, the best thing about this is as, is definitely the fan set, is definitely the voice acting. Oh my gosh, did they do a really good job with, the, with getting a lot of the original actors back. In fact, some of them, they even, they got archival footage for them. I mean, 
Is it just me? I was Tom just scream, screaming as it, the William Hannah's scream, archival footage of William Hannah screaming in the uh, in the all the cartoons in the past. It's always a pleasure to, to hear like said Kevin Conroy as Batman and Matthew Lillard as Shaggy, and even. Even though uh, I would say, and John DiMaggio as Jake the Dog. Justin Roiland is, is, is always good to hear as Morty, though. I'm pretty sure it does feel lack, lacking it, that Rick's not in yet, so, you know, going to take some time. Macy Williams is returning as Arya Stark. It's probably the highlight. Come I mean, she was probably the hardest one to get back, in my view, but, you know, it's fun. It's always good to hear her, and, you know, and while she probably is the most out of place character in this, it's always good to see her and I and I love and I love her for it. And even the replacement voice actors do a pretty good job. That's oh Vin Diesel doesn't return as the Iron Giant, but you know his voice acting is good. The guy who plays LeBron is interesting. Yeah, that's not actually LeBron James playing himself, but uh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, prove it to me, but I don't care. Just find it out. I'm sure a lot of people were probably wishing I would play, I would have had the music going on and, you know, so people can, you know, sound, I should say, so they can see, hear everything in this game, but I don't feel comfortable doing this because I don't want to get copyright claim, but, you know, I'm only playing a little bit at the moment because, you know, it's at the end, and in terms of a full-length review, I'm going to wait till thing, we got a lot more content, as I said, I want a few more stages, a few more characters, maybe a few extra game modes and all that, I'm also should mention I didn't play this game online because, well, I don't feel comfortable at the moment showing up my opponents at the moment, you know, when I'm doing my videos. It's just, so I used um, bots, which I'm sure a lot of people haven't really used that much, but, you know, helps out training. Which is pretty much, which I'm pretty much as glad as that some me love up certain characters, you know. You know, but as I said, if you want to see me play on multiverses, you'll see me, you'll see me mostly as either Batman, Rick, Morty, Aria, and Buzz. But you know, but that's really all I can say so far. So far, it's a really good game, and I'm pretty sure 
If you want to have a Smash Bros. fix with Warner Bros. characters, give it a shot. But also say, but obviously if you've got a Nintendo console, obviously play Smash Brothers and play Nickelodeon Star Brawl as well. And uh, you know, I also some. Well, you can always play in the, some of the indie video, indie Smash Bros. clients. I mean, Brawl, Brawl is probably the big one, and Indie Pogo is great too. But yeah, I won't be giving this a full length review tool. I feel like there's enough content to satisfy the, myself to do it. You know. But when it does, I'll let you know. With that said, my next video will be in a way video game related. It's a request that... Okay, so I felt like I knew I was going to have to review it at some point. And, well, I would have done it this week. I just feel like I need to watch it again just so I can get, you know, an idea of... Yeah, you because know, this is a very... It's not a good movie, but it's a guilty pleasure for a few people. And, no. Well, We'll just have to wait and see what my score, what I, how I view it uh, next week. But in the meantime, this is Hazard from Hazard Reviews Out, and I shall see you for my next video. Ciao!